Our first uh, speaker tonight is uh, one who represents oh, a write-in candidate uh, in relation to another oh, Republican, uh, conservative, however you define that. And uh, Steve DePlantis, are you, there you are, sir. Uh, would you kindly come up and uh, tell, tell us what, where your heart is, tell us what big government is, and uh, talk about conflicts of interest. Uh, now we have our time split between uh, five other people, so take the time you need. Okay. Thank you, Robert, I appreciate the, the yes, opportunity. Um, I don't know how, usually at a rock concert, the, the, uh, the, the lesser unknown band opens up from big rock stars, and I don't know how I got Don Young and, uh, and, and, and Senator Sullivan to uh, open up for me. That's fun. I don't know if you guys have been to rock concerts. But uh, I want to introduce my wife. She's here with me tonight, Demita. You find she's right here. Um, she is my... Uh, uh, my, my prop, my, she holds me up. She keeps me in line, okay? Uh, we moved here to Alaska back in about 1999 with the Air Force. And uh, uh, I was in the uh, Navy Reserves at the time too and, and uh, involved in the ministry. We left in 2003 and um, knew we'd be back. And uh, I wound up going to Bible school uh, she got out the Air Force, and we wound up back here in Alaska in 2011. And uh, lo and behold, uh, we, we went to North Pole first for two years. I pastored in Nenana for two years, and then we came to Anchorage. And from that time in Anchorage, I watched Anchorage spiral downward, and this was 2015. So in the five years that we've been here in Anchorage, this is what I've watched. Two years ago, I... I, I, the God put on my heart to run for, for uh, uh, the house, state house in my district, District 24. Ran against Chuck Cobb. Um, did, not a politician, don't want to be a politician, uh, and, and it just knew something was wrong. And uh, just kind of got my foot in the door, and of course lost that race, and uh, the Republican Party didn't back me at all. Um, in fact, kind of closed the door on me almost. Uh, then this go around, we saw that 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 uh, the, the current state senator Natasha Van uh did not have a uh, opponent. Well, she did at first, and then they had some residential uh, issues with him, and he backed out. Or he had to drop out, and uh, and and I was like, these people need, at least in the primary, at least need to have a, a choice, right? So I decided to get in, and then COVID hit. Um, we raised about. To be to correct, correct me if I'm wrong, about maybe 1,500 bucks in, in, our, in, in that, that, that uh, uh, race, and, and I got 52% of the vote, okay, on 50, 1,500 bucks, right? So to me, that proves that we need control in Juno where people know how to work within a budget. They don't know how to work within a budget, all right? I proved with that that at least I know how to do that. And 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 man, who follows Dave Ramsey here? It, it, yeah, exactly. So you, he, he's got good advice. Juno should actually take his uh, financial peace university courses. And you, you you need to learn to live within your means. And we did. We won that. So same thing. When when the when the primary was over, I was like, too many people spoke against Ms. Lanamo. All right, for me just to go home and not do anything about it. So we decided to do a write-in. And write-in's a lot different because the name's not on the ballot. Um, you have to do word of mouth. It's gotta be like places like this where I'm talking, this, this is where, I'm, you know, the, the grassroots area. Of. And uh, I decided to do that. So I put my name in. And then a few weeks go by, I get a phone call from my district chairs in District 23 and District 24 imploring me to back out of the race. And uh, in other words, it, it, now, now here, the Republican Party is putting their support behind someone just because they have an R behind their name. And I invite you to go take a look at her record and see how she voted. On Labor Day, there was a, a thing that went on in Town Square 
the Black Caucus, the last of Black Caucus put it together, and it was BLM, all that stuff was going on, and I'm down there. I wanted to infiltrate, I wanted to see what's going on, so I'm watching. They introduced a lady by the name of Alexandra McKay, and she's Vice President of Programs for Rasmussen Foundation. And she proceeded to say how the Rasmussen Foundation backs BLM. Also supports Mayor Berkowitz's push for homeless stuff. She's put the, 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 the foundation is putting money for that too. So I got this on film. In fact, you can go to my Facebook page and you can see it. Um, she, she proceeded to say that she's that, that the Rasmussen Foundation is back in BLM, right? In case you didn't know, Ms. Von Einmark sits on the executive board of the Rasmussen Foundation. And this is who the Republican Party of Alaska is backing for this seat. Think about that. And think about that hard. Because you know what's behind the Rasmussen Foundation? Is this. And if and, and, and I, I was told to back out, right? I'm not in it for the money. I'm not in it for the money at all. I'm in it because something drastically is wrong with Alaska in the politics here, and it needs to be changed. And and what does need to be changed? Let me get, let me pull this up real quick. Um, the uh, problem we have. We saw it happen within the municipality this week. The mayor just resigned. All right, that's good. Uh, yeah, go ahead, clap. Absolutely. He resigned because of an integrity issue. All right, because he wasn't loyal to his wife. What makes you think he's going to be loyal to the city? Right? And, and we like to, you know, what, what the problem is, is we don't have God in government. And, that, and that's the bottom line, that we separate him. And, and the gentleman talked about it earlier, about that our country was founded on the principles of God in the Bible. And we've totally pushed it out of the way. Right? And we like to quote this from, from uh, 2 Chronicles 7, 4, 14. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray. Okay, but we don't read 13. Okay, because this is what verse 13 says. When I shut up the heavens so that there is no rain or command locusts to devour the land or send a plague among my people, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and I will heal, the, heal their land. So humble and pray, right? That's the problem we have in Alaska. At least that, that, that's why. And, and I believe that God is, is, is doing, he's making a move here, guys. He's making a move. And uh, okay. well, it's going to be, and I want to thank you guys for letting me speak. Remember, on did, the did you ask for their vote? Oh, no, hey, well, who's in District L? Is anybody from District L here? Mm -hmm. All right, do you have any friends from District L? How's about that? Okay. <laughs> Go to our website, Duplantis for Alaska, D U P L A N T I S, number four Alaska.com. Mm -hmm. Tell you everything, and then uh, you write it in, same thing. Duplantis, Stephen, S T E P H E N. That's instead of Ms. Von Himmel? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Right on. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.